In today's video, I'm going to share with you three summer centerpiece ideas. So stay tuned. Roll that footage. Hi guys, if you're new to my channel or if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I'm so glad you stopped by and decided to share some time with me. My name is Sharon. And today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you three summer centerpiece ideas. One will be a flower arrangement, one will be a sand arrangement, and one will be a moss arrangement. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell, and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I love changing my centerpieces out for the season, and I know that other people enjoy that as well. So I thought today that I would share with you three different centerpieces that can be used in the center of a table or even on a side table, and some of these could even be used outside for outdoor living. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so to complete this centerpiece, um, the items that I will be using are some flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, the yellow and white flowers came from the Dollar Tree and this green sprig came from uh, Michael's. I have what I'm going to be using as a, a vase inside of a vase. This is some Dollar Tree, uh, I DIY'd some Dollar Tree uh, votive candle holders and added a little bling to the center. This was some time ago, so this was from another project. And this little uh, vase here, this little votive candle holder, it's frosted. This also came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this as the base of my um, centerpiece. I'm going to be using some E6000 and some uh, hot glue. I'm going to be using both. I'm going to be using the uh, Rust-Oleum frosted glass paint to paint this, the garden bowl from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make it look like this as much as I can to make them uh, look as though they're, uh, they belong together. And I'll be using the um, crystal water drops as my filler for the bowl. But I'm going to take and put some styrofoam, which I also got from the Dollar Tree, so that I don't have to use as much of the raindrop filler in the bowl. But right now, I'm going to take this outside to paint. Let's go. Okay, so I'm back. And I've got the bowl painted. I put about five coats of the uh, frosted glass paint on this bowl. And I think I got it to where I need it to be. To, so that when I put these two pieces together, they look like one. I'm going to be using both hot glue and E6000 because I do want this to be permanent. Now the trick is going to be what's the length and I'm going to take the leaves off. I will not be using the leaves this time. That might be still too tall. I think that might be good.
I love this concept and you can pretty much change the flowers out to whatever color you decide. <laughs> I think that's the fun part about this. You can make it look the way you want. Very pretty. So let me turn it so you can see it. That's the front. That's the side. I wouldn't mind having a little more to cover it up in it. So I'm gonna be using the garden bowl from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using an air plant that I got from Michael's. I'm gonna be using this base that I also got. I believe it's um, a dessert ramekin or some sort that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using another one of these round fillers so that I don't have to put so much sand in the bowl. I got that from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of two. Uh, and then I got sand. Um, some of this sand I already had and some of it I had to purchase. It came from Michael's. I believe these were $8 a pack, uh, $8 a jar, and I don't remember how much this was. And I'll be using, um, I will be using hot glue and E6000 because I do want this to be permanent. Now I won't be painting this bowl. I want it to stay uh, clear um, so that you can see the sand. But I will hot glue this in place because I don't want it to move. I think it helps to have a spoon. I'll be using my uh, this Baskin and Robbins spoon. <laughs> um, I have the scoop. I just don't know where it is at this moment, and I don't feel like looking for it. So the Baskin and Robbins spoon will work just fine. I'm gonna make like four corners and I'm gonna mound it in four places. Believe it or not, I'm gonna use cheap ground coffee to give me that look I'm going for. To give me my layer of brown. Now I'm alternating my mounds on each color. I wish I could get a better angle, but I'll get it in the pictures. Okay, and then now I'm gonna do green. some additional photos to this video on social media. Be sure to stop by and check me out on Instagram and on Pinterest at Creative Glam One. Okay, now I'm gonna make my mounds again in opposite corners.
I think this will be a great centerpiece to use outdoors. And my kind of centerpiece, low maintenance. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. And now I'm going to put my air plant right in the center. I will be using, again, some of the uh, floral foam from the Dollar Tree. I will be using some moss rocks, moss stones. I'm not exactly sure what you call them. What do they call them? I will be using a, a Dollar Tree glass and I have filled it with some um, mirror silver contact paper. I will be using this bowl for my centerpiece. Uh, it's a silver bowl that I got from Amazon and it cost me $7. It's that hammered metal look. And I will be using reindeer moss from Dollar Tree, I think. Dollar Tree. And I will be using some succulents that I got from Michael's. I will not be using hot glue on this project because I do not want it to be permanent. I will be using this bowl. Um, I see myself using this bowl in another project. Love it. There you go. I did that as opposed to painting the glass, the drinking glass, because it just didn't give me that shine. Uh, even though it says mirror paint, it's still not quite the same when you're using it in comparison with uh, an actual metal object. I, I spray painted one and it just wasn't the same. So I decided to go with the mirror contact paper which gives me more of a sheen more of a shine and makes them look more of a set like they belong together and I like that that's the look I'm going for a more contemporary because I did have a um, I do have a contemporary pedestal that I could have used but I didn't want to go with a contemporary look I wanted to go with more of a modern look and I thought that that was uh, what I did here today with this uh, using the drinking glass and the mirrored contact paper. I like that better. Now I am going to take again another piece of styrofoam so that I don't have to put so much filler into it. I think this is another one of those centerpieces that you can use outdoors. I do not want it to be permanent, but I think that uh, as it is, it could stand to go out there. Uh, of course, once it gets wet, it's going to start to patina and, and change in color just a little bit. Uh, so you can use it indoor or outdoor if you don't mind that weathered uh, patina look that you get on metal. Sometimes it's even prettier when you're using it in a garden setting uh, once the water hits it and it starts to stain and change colors a little bit. But if you like that pristine look and you want to keep it looking contemporary and shiny, it's perfect indoors as well. And again, I'm going to take some more of my coffee and fill the bowl. I'm probably going to, I'm going to use the rest of this bag from the previous project. And I have another bag. This is going to go as my dirt. Because I am using it in the house and on my kitchen table, I'm going to use coffee. If I was using it outside, I'd probably do dirt. But I didn't want to put the dirt in at the kitchen table. But sometimes, no matter how good the soil is, you'll still get bugs or you'll still get um, uh, weeds. So I decided I didn't want to do the dirt.
Well, I don't need a three o'clock pick me up today working with this coffee. So that's one and a half bags of uh, cheap ground coffee. You could probably use coffee beans too if you wanted that textured look. I considered it, but I didn't want the textured look. I wanted the dirt look. I wanted it to look like dirt in here. And I think I achieved that. If you don't like coffee so much and you don't like the smell of it, again, like I said, you can use dirt. You can also use sand. Something like that. And then I can stick my reindeer moss in between. What do you think? I like that so far. I don't want to cover up all the dirt, just some. Wow, that was a fresh bag. You can smell it, it's so fresh. And that took no time at all. A couple bags of ground coffee, styrofoam, some moss rocks, a few succulent picks, and some reindeer moss tucked in the sides. And just like that, you have a moss bowl. Oh my goodness, that's cute. liked all three. Which did you like best? Did you like the flower centerpiece best? Or did you like the sand and the air plant centerpiece? How about the moss centerpiece? Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy my three centerpiece ideas for the season. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell and then hit all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Don't forget to leave me a comment, and I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And with that being said, have a blessed day, and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!